Okay, here we go. It's Garrett. I changed my microphone settings. I added a little bit more bass. I pulled down the treble and I turned the recording uh, volume down a little bit because the microphone was too hot and I thought I would make it sound a little bit more the way a DJ might sound on a, on a radio station. So let's give it a try. About a week ago, I was exercising, you know, lifting weights and doing a lot of chores um, uh, in my condo, you know, cleaning, laundry, washing dishes, vacuuming upstairs, vacuuming all the bedrooms. And what happened is I strained my knee, my right knee. And the first day, it was a little bit bad, but the second day, is when it really got sore and really started hurting. And um, it hurt all week long, whether I'm doing chores or going up and down the staircase, taking my wife to work. I mean, every step was a battle. Every single step I took with my right leg hurt with pain, uncomfortable pain when you strain your knee. And even just going to bed and laying my right leg down on the bed would hurt until I can get it comfortable. So I'm in pain, I'm uncomfortable day after day, day after day. And what happened is the other day I was on my couch, I was praying and worshiping and I had this Christian music on and I mean, my knee's killing me. In fact, just sitting in the couch, my right, my right leg would hurt where the knee is. So I'm worshiping, and I heard Jesus clearly tell me, why don't you cast a demon out? And I said, I will. So I worked on humbling myself for a couple minutes, And I put my hands on my knee and I commanded the demon to leave in the name of Jesus and praise God, he left. He flew out to the left, right out of the condo, right out of my windows, uh, through the balcony, right out, right out to the left side. And my knee was immediately 50% better. So what we're learning is the demons are feeding off of our medical problems. They're feeding off of the pain that we can have in our body. They are antagonizing us, working with the medical issues and the pain and the parts of our bodies that aren't working that well. And just casting him out, I was immediately 50% better and I was thanking God and praising and worshiping God. If you have medical problems now, if you have pain in your teeth or gums, in your stomach, your legs, your back, anywhere in your body, nine times out of ten, there's going to be a demon there working with that issue. And the Lord told me, he told me to make this video and I'll go into that story in a second. So you want to work on humbling yourself before God, before his Christ, and command the demon to leave. And you should feel a little bit better immediately or even a lot better. So now, so I'm on the couch. This is the same day. This is, this is all within a 10-minute period. Now I'm back on the couch again and I'm happy and I'm praising and the music is on. Now Jesus tells me, and I hear him so clearly. He said, I want you to pray for healing on your right knee. And he said, well, okay, so I lay hands on my knee. So I, I humble myself first again. I lay hands on my knee and I pray for healing and I get up and walk, and it was another 50% better. 
I come back down and I'm so happy and I'm feeling better. And I'm just praising God and listening to the music and worshiping and humbling myself. And I noticed that the knee hurt a little bit. So I get up and walk around and um, it, it's still better. It's still much better, but it's hurting a little bit. So I come back to the couch and I said, Lord, Jesus, t please teach me what's going on here. And he said, Garrett, that first step you take dictates what will happen next. So Jesus is saying, when I get up from the couch, the very first step I take in faith, with faith or lacking faith, will dictate how healed my knee is. So I said, Lord, I will make this video, but first let me practice. So I said to myself, okay, Jesus wants to heal me. I accept this gift. I accept it. I'm healed. Now the next, the first step you take will dictate what's going to happen to your body. So I get up believing I'm healed, practicing faith, and the knee was so much better. Like so much better, like 80%, 85% healed now, and I'm walking around with just a small limp where a few minutes earlier, I'm in terrible pain and I can't even walk. Couldn't even walk. So he said, Garrett, I want you to practice this. Make a video so my people can learn to practice faith in my love and to practice faith in my healing. So that's what I've been doing for 24 hours. There have been some incredible successes where I'm practicing faith on that first step. You know, because when your knee is hurting, it takes a lot of faith to actually believe that you can take this first step and be okay. And I've had some great successes and I've had some failures too. Now, what does that mean? Well, you know, when you're practicing guitar, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. And you know, when you're practicing to speak French, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. And when you're practicing to cook a Korean barbecue, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. And it's the same with practicing faith. We are not the Christ. God's son is Jesus. We will make mistakes. He never made mistakes. So what I've been doing is I've been practicing some techniques that, Lord, you love me. You want to heal me. I accept this. I accept your gift of healing. Boom, here's my first step. Let's go. And it works. And it works. And as I'm practicing, there's some failures. And then sometimes I'll be sitting down in my chair and the Lord will bring pain to my right knee. It's a test. So I'd say, Lord, by your stripes 2,000 years ago, I was healed. I accept this. You suffered terribly. You suffered because you love me. You went through terrible torture. And one of the reasons you did is so my knee could be healed. And I practiced these techniques. And I've had some miraculous healings practicing this. And it works. And Jesus wants you to study this and practice this. Praise God. What an amazing true story. Praise God.